the yeah. Desert Tramp. Good fun here at the Domatic booth. But yeah, we saw our good friend Larry, so uh, we figured we'd come say what up. Hey, how's it going? You're in a day out here. Beautiful weather. It's nice that it's not, uh, you know, as windy as it's been in the past. And also just good to be back around everyone and seeing some friendly faces after everything being closed down for so long. Right. Yeah, it's good to be out here reconnecting with everyone. And Domatic's done a ton for, you know, me and Down to Mob and the community. And you've got such a cool setup here. Stoked to see uh, Micah's truck, Overland Under Budget. You guys been hanging out? Yeah, absolutely, man. We Like, the big thing is... You know, it's, it's, it's not just about products. It's really about the lifestyle and supporting people who are out there, if it's full-time or weekend warrior, how these products actually fit into their lives, you know, like their life and like what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Because really it's more about that. Like you can get any vehicle and go have fun. Mm -hmm. And it's the, the memories and the experiences that you're chasing. Right. Um, you've got your van over here though, which is an awesome build that, you know, we were just talking about how you built it for you and for what you want to do. So, yeah, it'd be cool to check that thing out. Yeah, absolutely, man. Let's go over there and check it out and kind of run you through uh, over the last few years the rigs I've had and why I came up with this exact layout. Sweet. Yeah, let's go check it out. Here's some of your story. That'll be awesome. Yeah. The walk by shot. Your needs. The first thing I notice the double doors, man. Yeah. Game changer. It is. It's a game changer. And, and you know, for me, the big thing was. Uh, my lady and I, we were like living on the road out of a Tundra and then we built out an Avion. We were in so many rigs like built out vans or more RV style like vans or even like trailers and I felt like there wasn't something that like really called me like too much to where I wanted to be and I knew I wanted to do a custom build. But obviously things change once you have that nine to five to actually have the time to put in the DIY versus like, you know, having it already done. But you had the other door and now if you're cooking, if you're just sitting eating or just in general, it's like you bring the outside in mm -hmm. or you bring the inside out because mm -hmm. right, you have a patio. It's, yeah, and your crazy. your rig is not a wall. It's like a portal. Like I can see people over there like, hey, what's up? And in my thought with the double doors is sometimes it's really windy and you want to open a door when the wind's not hitting. Well, now you don't like, you know, you can just go to the other side of the van. I think that would be a a big factor that would make people not do it. They're like, well, my layout, you know, everyone's probably focused on a layout that only has one door, but this is so sweet. I love it. Awesome. And the, the whole build is tour, tour rig. Yeah. Tour rig. Yep. Cool. So they, they're an upfitter. Basically yeah. you can take a van to them or you can go and buy a van and build out whatever works for you. We've done Gooseberry Mesa, doing mountain biking. Uh, we've done like Tucson in the winter just to get out once again, like from getting out of Salt Lake from the snow. I've done elk hunts out of this. We've kind of cool. done a bit. We've been to Georgia in it already, which then visiting family, I don't have to go in their like house and be in their space. I can have my own and work or do whatever I want. And it just mm -hmm. feels good to have your own space. The CFX line, you can use it on your boat, you can put it on your patio, you can put it in your truck, you could, I mean, it's really, it's endless mm -hmm. what you can use it So for. where's the fridge in this one? Is it in there? Yeah, it is. You nice. Can actually go in there and check it out. And yeah, you got like a big dinette, a table. You've got the bed. You've got all the room you need with the two doors. This is a nice interior. Yeah, and right now if we were sitting somewhere and we didn't have the like covers on the windows, I mean, you really get a 360 view and the breeze, right? Mm -hmm. And like, I mean, feel like you're outside. Yeah. This table comes out of the way. So it pops out, I can put it up here, use it as a stand-up desk, have more space to like stretch, roll out, or just like make it feel like it has more room. That's been the hardest part about living out of the rooftop tent for me is the table. I'll have to set up a table and chairs and to edit for a couple hours, I just don't do it. Yeah. Um, but here you could hop down, I could see myself morning coffee, getting a little computer work done. This is a nice nice spot I yeah like it. i feel like if you think about what you're designing it for and really thinking about how much time you're using let's just say an area categorizing like how often am i cooking how often am i sleeping like to me the seats were important having comfortable seats i'm taking a long time driving and then having a bed cook so that's an induction cooktop is it, it? is yeah induction awesome. cooktop tops they take a lot of power you know which can be a lot of strain over time depending on how much you're cooking but for me I went with induction cooktop because like I have a diesel heater and I didn't want to just like have like piping and then have to fill up you know uh, natural gas it's just like more to do and like it seems like you're creating more of a hassle to go on your adventure and to worry about more resources so I really wanted something that I could stealth camp or I can use for um, bad weather 
But to be honest, I like to make coffee. I'm going to be outside. I'll, I have a jet boil that I leave in here. Mm -hmm. Or other times, if I know I'm going to a specific spot that I've been before, I'll take like the Traeger or I'll take another little grill that I cook outside. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of like last resort mm -hmm. kind of thing. Not yeah. in a bad way, but it's just my kind of lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm using this more space. And then also the more cooktops you have, really, you're not making like turducken in the van. <laughs> I'm excited for the dual burner and the sink combo. I just saw one in a rig today and I was like, oh wow, this is, because I have mine not installed yet. I'm like, this is bigger than I thought. I think it's gonna be perfect for me. Um, but you know, in this setup, it's like, you've got this beautiful sink. Is this a Rivati? Uh, that, I'm not sure. So, I, my buddy just put one in his van and Rivati sink, it's all fancy. Is it the Marine fridge, this one? Or? This is, yeah, yeah. The stainless. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we have them in different sizes. We have the drawer, we have like, more so just like the opening door. But I mean, you can fit more than you Flip to whatever believe in here. Wow. And it has a freezer. That's what caught me was the stainless. Like, oh, that's the Marine grade. And you guys, yeah, you have so many options. And I guess, you know, for some people, it, it could be daunting. Like, what, what do you pick? You guys also really great on customer service, helping people get, get to the right spot. So, yeah, if anyone does have questions, I guess, yeah. what's the best way, I mean, to just call you or you as know, far as Dometic? So that's where customer service gets difficult for a company as big as Dometic. Uh, I say, personally, it's great if you can talk with, uh, you know, if you have an Airstream, talk with Airstream. You have a Scout camper, talk with Scout. Someone who's installing the product, right, or in your case, Bison. But then, uh, obviously, if there's more that needs to be done, just reach out to our customer service. It's crazy when you just open these. This is like a toolbox. 100%. It's like a snap-on toolbox. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's, more, wow. it's, it's aluminum, so lightweight. They're pretty durable. I mean, I just love the way it looks. Yeah, so 12-volt AC. Oh, that is 12-volt. Yeah. And it's been awesome. So I didn't even get that for me. I got it for the dog. Yes, I work at Dometic as well. I want to represent the products uh, that seem bit best fit also for me and the lifestyle I have. So for instance, the sink, I didn't go with a Dometic product. It was nothing towards Dometic other than I wanted a deeper sink and we don't mm -hmm. make the product. Yeah. That was it. But with like the AC, we make a killer 12 volt AC. I can leave my dog in here for four to six hours while I'm mountain biking or at times when I've been like at a house or somewhere where I have shore power, then at night I'm in here and during the day I'm not, so then we can have it to where it's you know, yeah. 70 degrees That's and we can sleep while power is coming into the power system as well. Well, I guess I didn't even plan to ask you, but this is a very cool custom build and there's a lot of people wanting to build a custom van or truck camper. What's uh, the biggest thing you've learned maybe that you could pass on to them? Yeah, uh, patience first off because finding a van or an outfitter like parts are low. Uh, and they're busy, right? You got to think when you go to like these massive RV manufacturers, they have the infra infrastructure and the support to grind on one model. They can pump them out, but these upfitters, I mean, their attention to detail and, and it is essentially an original custom until they're making more and then you're making fine details too. So the money can add up, but also, you know, you're making something for yourself, not one size fits all. Well, great, great chatting with you and uh, thanks for sharing the van and you know, Dometic lifestyle, all that good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming by and chatting with me. And thank you guys for watching this walkthrough of Larry from Dometic Sprinter Van. Make sure to like and subscribe for more. We'll see you on the next one. The only question is, are you down to mob?